And it's been exactly you would have seen before. He organised the summer show. He's a great inspiration. Lovely guy. You're going to love him. Uh, please come to the stage. The wonderful Robbie Fox. Hey! Right, I'll open with a little bit about myself, and since the majority of us here are British, I'll talk about my state of class. Since some people find me a bit hard to categorise there. Uh, my parents were both born and raised working class, and being rather creative and ambitious youths, got some interesting jobs down the line and became somewhat middle class later in the peak of their lives. Then around the time of my birth, gradually descended into poverty. <laughs> Leaving me as a, as a strange hybrid of these two paradigms, like having the body and face of an East End bruiser and the voice of a wine merchant. <laughs> I want to live my 20s wild and creative, and then my 30s intellectual and adventurous, and then I want to live my 40s annoying people by cooking everything with pesto. <laughs> Not all my tastes are holy middle class, though. For instance, I quite like Poundland. <laughs> and weed. <laughs> If you don't want to try drugs, it's absolutely fine with me, of course it is, but please don't use the excuse, well, killing your brain doesn't sound like much fun to me. Doesn't it? <laughs> you know, I mean, for instance, a, a, a drug like weed isn't going to wholly kill your brain at all, it'll just relax you so much that it makes you more sensitive of your physical self and more sensitive of your sort of emotional well-being. So, wait, hang on, you're going you're to smoke marijuana? You're going to have a night in with close friends, calm music, snack food and smoke marijuana? That's very dangerous. <laughs> okay, just come out drinking with us instead. It'd be so much better. Well, first we're going to meet up at the pub for a few pints, and then onto a bar for some cheap vodka mixes. Then we'll go to an overpriced club full of admitted strangers and spend all of our money on more booze. The music will be extremely loud, so we don't have to worry about conversation and achieving stronger social relationships with each other. We'll do this until about three in the morning when we retch and vomit in an infectious toilet cubicle, and then stagger home and try to sleep with aching feet and tinnitus. Smoking weed is really bad for your health. <laughs> Weed is just like getting drunk, only no hangover, no depression, and no calories. <laughs> the the uh, overall sort of uh, feeling of, of weed growing up said that it leads to doing irrational things. But let's be honest here, the most irrational and ill-conceived things that any of us here have ever done in our lives were done sober. For instance, I wasn't drunk or high when I first did stand-up, and no one thought that was a good idea. <laughs> now I can admit that while drunk, I have kissed two people at once. Andy and Jacob are lovely guys. But, <laughs> while completely sober, I spent three hours as a door-to-door -door window fitting salesman. And you know what? Every house I visited already had windows. <laughs> <laughs> makes about as much sense as being against gay rights. I've written worse transitions. To me, being against gay rights is like being against pork. Stay with me. This is both homosexuality and pork. They're not for everyone. I mean, of course not. Perhaps people aren't some people aren't really brought up with it very prevalent in their culture, it doesn't really appeal to them, doesn't really occur to them. Fair enough, whatever, what's I'm telling you. And also, <laughs> neither act of engaging in sexual intercourse with the same gender and eating the flesh of a pig do any harm to society. But the key thing is, no one believes that there is a pork agenda. <laughs> no one gets upset that someone had a bacon sandwich for lunch, so why be upset that some guy sucks some dick before bed? <laughs> You don't get people crashing the funerals of pig farmers with big placards saying, God hates ham. <laughs> Which is a waste, because they could just visit the anti-gays and borrow their God hates faggot site. <laughs> Imagine Republicans appealing to Congress saying, how do you expect me to explain to my child, to my child, that two men ate a scotch egg? <laughs> Jews and Muslims unite in common cause and march two by two into Mitchell and Elbury. I'm so glad we can get over our differences, brother. Muzzle puff. <laughs> Makes even less sense when they're against gays adopting children. Why not? Gay couples never have unwanted kids. Straight people have them frequently. <laughs> yeah, we've all met people like that, so. <laughs> a world without gays would be like a world without pork. Arguably similar to the eye, but far less satisfying to the taste. <laughs> some people wonder if I am gay. I say some people, my university friends mostly. <laughs> <laughs> I was at the uni for that guy. <laughs> <laughs> I found that out at graduation, so. But I'm not gay, I'm just fond of their work. <laughs> but sometimes I think that I should be gay. I, should, I could probably pull that if I was gay. If I was gay, I could probably pull a 20-something a, a nerdy guy with a beard. 
I think I can sort of imagine how that would go. Just sort of like, hi, my name's Robbie, nice to meet you. How are you doing? What's your name? Oh, that's good. Do you come out here often? Is it? Is it? Is it? Uh, hey, 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 hey. My DVD collection is huge. <laughs> I've got all the Bruce Lee movies and a whole bunch of Kurt Russell. <laughs> but I can carry you across this room and back. Come back to my place, we'll smoke some joints and I'll cook you a curry from scratch. <laughs> I can only imagine the sex with me would be like wrestling a sofa. The TV remote sticking out between the cushions. <laughs> well, that's about all for me, and I'll be handing you over to I think there's got one more act coming up, and uh, this is the guy I've spent three years of my life working, working with, and he is an absolute gem, and we're lucky to have him. Enjoy!